we want. So this is the story of the, of the travelers, the voyagers. They were young, burly men from the eastern shore who knew from life that they wanted more. Their plots were dry, their stories just beginning. They set off to live a life, a life worth living. They were engaged in a plan by the Northwest Sea to traverse the land through the veins of streams. And who could they be? Who could they become? The voyageurs, they set out as one. To leave a home and to start anew was not as easy for each crew. A plan was made by just a few, and these men each other, they barely knew. They left behind a wholesome life with some of their families and some of their wives. But what cost could this journey be? It was a true sacrifice, a testament to thee. You see, money was the draw until the first moon, and they realized this just all too soon. The dollars didn't matter to the trees and folks. It didn't matter to the water, to the paddles. Each stroke, the vie to be the manliest man who could traverse the farthest across this land, who could stand the strongest against each demand. But together they knew they could not disband. They all met at the forks of Montreal, and a party arrived to farewell them all. But they knew they had no wherewithal. But their families depended on their westward sprawl. You see, the concept was simple. The company said they demanded their lives and their respect. An old life in passing so soon to forget because all attention was needed for this next trek. The water highways tumultuous, but their demeanors were calm. They responded to the water with a range of songs. The rhythm set pace to the paddles each dawn. This they knew as the paddle songs. in all of their logic they knew they'd have to play. The waves were fierce, the rapids surprised, and this they knew as portaging time. They would haul their cargo on each of their backs, three packs of 90 pounds to be more exact. But the strongest, of course, would carry much more, and this was to their own accord. They gained more capital and they became more esteemed, and the bourgeois took notice as part of the scheme. You see, roles were defined, the company set, and they were determined to be noticed by the records they set, so they went from pork eaters to Northmen to the real Athabascans in a season, can you believe that, who inspired these actions? Pork eaters went just as far as the interior, and their goal was to work not to be more superior, so they traded with tribes for furs and tools because a market in Europe awaited these fools. You see, fur was in fashion, the business of vanity. Nonetheless, they can go home to be with their families. The Northmen went further and they learned to live off the land, becoming allies with tribes and facing nature's demands. And they developed a system called the trading posts. <clears throat> Some fell in love and no longer wanted to go. But the ones who traveled on, they gained the most masculine prowess and they became ingrained in the journey and they became the most proudest. But the final stage of all was to gain an indigenous wife and to learn to live off the land like she did for life. You see, these stories are as webbed as our Canadian streams, how we became a nation and who are the Métis. Thank you. Yeah.